What's up, y'all? This is a long-ass Nitain Muay Thai film session. We haven't done these in a while uh, in terms of <clears throat> we're going to watch every single play from a film of broadcast view. That's how we used to do it back in the old country, but it's been a minute since we've been able to do that. Uh, but we're doing it today. I want to show three games, okay? Uh, but this is how I set it up or whatever. Like, Somebody from my live stream wanted to uh, talk about Nitain Mutai, and they were talking from the perspective that uh, PFF had him as the number one interior offensive lineman. And when you read the PFF article, they said that he was Quentin Nelson-esque. You know what I mean? And somebody was like, uh, yo, Vosh, PFF got him ranked guard number one. And I was going to watch film on offensive linemen anyway. So I decided to look at him. And from a perspective of he's guard number one, I was like, there's no possible way we have him listed as guard number one. What's PFF smoking? You know what I mean? And I'm continuing to go on, go on this campaign. I go on Twitter machine and people... They just ain't up on game. People just, they've either been watching the highlight tape or they'll just take PFF, uh, they'll just take their word for it or whatever. So in the middle of a live stream I did yesterday or two days ago, whenever this come out, in the middle of a live stream, I watched Nitain Mutai live uh, for the live stream people. So that's going to be the USC Minnesota film that you watch. So this ain't going to be edited. It's not going to be pretty. I wanted to watch as many Nitain Mutai videos, uh, uh, plays and videos as possible so i can bring y'all uh the actual you know like in, in, in case i was missing something you know what i mean i'm showing y'all raw and and uncut and unedited you know what i mean um then as a second part to this story i went to sleep i went to sleep on it and woke back up and said hey man what am i missing man something must be missing here i watched a nitain mutai um highlight tape and I was like, okay, cool. That's where people are impressed. But you can't evaluate a player purely off a of highlight tape. So I went to go watch his Alabama film. So we got three long film sessions on Nitain Mutai. Uh, USC, Minnesota, Alabama. And I'm going to play all of them. We, this is going to be a long-ass film, y'all. So, hey, man, get your snacks and get ready to watch all this. But, uh, hey, man, this was the long-ass intro to the long-ass film session. I appreciate appreciate y'all for being here. Like button, Patreon people. Everything's in the description. V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I. Watch all this film, man. Salute. He's the left guard, y'all. He's 52. And he's the left guard. And he's next to the center. We're playing against USC. We're playing against USC. Okay. Find some work. Next play. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. He he look a little goofy. Oh, he 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 pulling like his legs hurt. But I'm not gonna knock him for that though. I just feel like he's pulling like his legs hurt. That looks kind of funny. Next play. Next play. <clears throat> Good initial pop because of his aggression. Need you to finish though, but I need you to finish though, but and let me say this too. Just off my initial prognosis right let me explain what my initial prognosis is and then we'll get into it he's very aggressive i like aggression he's angry you can always use angry as a football player but i feel like he don't finish he's not strong his balance ain't great um football awareness spatial awareness quickness and movement all those things but i do like how aggressive he is okay um but let's keep going. Let's keep going. So here, right, he was aggressive enough to come off the ball and actually deliver a good little pop here. But there were no hands. There's no technique here. If he used his hands properly, he'll still be on this dude. Uh, and I think I think I saw a lot of that last 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 time I watched him. Like he started to engage, but he didn't keep engaging. And all that comes with hands or whatever. <clears throat> That's holding, but. Uh, let me cut the speed down. I don't need to cut the speed. I can just talk fast and rewind it. So, <clears throat> um, his hands, his hands got a little high here. It, it, it's not a terrible block because nobody died here. Um, but his hands got a little high and with that, the defender was able to get into the middle of him. So he was able to give up a lot of ground. So when the defender went to go disengage, 
Mutai was holding him. And there absolutely should have been a flag there. Um, what I want from Mutai is I need you to be a little more square and I need you to drop your that's enough. his hips was dropped so his hips was dropped it just wasn't enough to anchor that's a lower body strength thing but uh maybe if his hands were a little more inside when he anchored he'll be fine because th his hips dropped i'm trying to stop it right at the perfect right at the perfect time his hips was dropped right there right before this y'all y'all saw it he dropped his hips he just he wasn't everything else wasn't in place to properly stop this dude but now you want to keep hands on guy just you know get your hands off of him. nick say how tall is he i don't know let me go to the phone let me see how tall he is uh i just missed this play because i'm up here googling how tall nitain muta is uh and you know what? We talking about combine or whatever. Combine is going to be a good thing for him because we need to know how them damn knees work. His knees and his Achilles and his hamstring and his quad and his and his. his he's six three. Damn, he's six three three oh seven. Don't look like it. <laughs> he he look he look he look little bitty. Don't he, Nick Gashler? I agree. He look a little bit. He look a little bitty. It's another example, right? He's going to come off the ball real aggressive here, but uh, he doesn't have the technique or the strength to sustain it or whatever. So he's just going to miss people. <laughs> he's going to miss and lose a little balance there. See, I'm just kind of flopping around there. Mm -mm. That dude is not six, three, uh, three Oh seven. I don't know, because these dudes do look kind of little, so he might be 6'3". <laughs> he might be 6'3", 207. I don't know. He he don't look six. He looks little. I don't know. Unless the dude in front of him just super big. Stalemate, not a bad play. Not a bad stalemate. Another example here. He's going to come off the ball, deliver a good blow, but couldn't sustain the block. <clears throat> Stay on, people. What about the next play? We're going to move this quick. I ain't, I ain't got time to see your running backs running. We're not watching film on them. That's a solid stalemate for what the blocking assignment is. I ain't mad at it. What about this play? That's better. Combo there, but. Yeah, cool. That, that, ain't, that ain't terrible. Yeah, combo. Yeah, com combo's part of the job, too. So, sure, good on your combo. Let's see. <clears throat> what the hell was that? Uh... That was the center's job. That's the center's guy. Yeah, the center need to kick a little more to get up under that dude. That's not Mutai's fault. Oh, that's a chop block penalty. Oh, goodness. They going to kill that boy. Oh, goodness. Uh, Before the chop block, it looked like Mutai was about to catch this kid. And he kind of did catch him. He, <laughs> your boy just got chopped before. Well, these Pac-12 refs ain't look. Where they eyes at? I can't see. Mutai didn't look like he was going to be in a good position to block that dude anyway. But damn, they ain't had to chop block your boy. Personal file. Okay, never mind. They got him. They got him. Chat box, relax. They got him. They, we, we good, y'all. Don't worry about it. It's okay. The referee got him. The referee got him. It's okay, fellas. Justice has been served here. Combo. Not a terrible combo. Mm, looking around for work and blocking the back. <laughs> I like looking for work though. My guy, now nah, he tripped over his other fella. Hey, good job looking for work, Nitain Muta. Good job looking for work. I'm gonna tell you when you're right. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you when you're right. Uh oh. And you know what, chat box? That's a product of being high and your chest being exposed and your hands being in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna hold him too hard for that though. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna move on and keep watching. Fix your hands, my guy. If he fixes his hands, he'll 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 be a little better. If I, I will say, if he fixes his hands and his base and he stayed healthy and he got a little stronger, he'll be better. Yeah. 
solid block on the move, I would say. Um, everybody's moving to the left, so to speak. I'm hitting this button here. Um, everybody's kind of just waving to the left here and we're passing guys along or whatever. So that ain't terrible. It's just we're blocking. We're combo blocking, but we're, mo we're moving upfield at the same time. So we're just kind of waterfalling oppositely. Instead of waterfalling backwards, we're waterfalling upwards. So um, Mutain is just um, Muta Mutain? Nitain? I don't know his name. What's his name? Nitain, yeah, Nitain is um he was just working upfield there. So let's see. Okay, cool. Roll out. <clears throat> I hate those um those blocking schemes because uh Louisville does that a lot. The let me go back. Louisville does this a lot and it made it hard for me to evaluate uh Beckton. Like they'll roll everybody to the left and nothing will happen, but we'll but we'll roll out to the right. Like the play will go right, but the offense roll out blocks to the left. I hate that. I hate that. It's hard to evaluate people on that, but that's a that's a way that a lot of teams save their players or whatever. That's not a bad pass block, Nitain. You need to move your feet though. My goodness, this this tackle must be terrible. Nitain ain't even moving his feet. Look at him not moving his feet. <laughs> Boy, number fifty is terrible. Nitain ain't even moving his feet. <laughs> Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Give me another D lineman, please, so I can get a look. I tell you what, though, my O line coach ego. I feel like I can fix him. Nitain Muta. I feel like I can fix him. I feel like I can fix him, but you know how that go. Let's see what happens here. What else we got? Uh... <laughs> Let's just move on. <laughs> Let's just move on from that play. Uh, what about this one? Solid aggression, solid pop at the line of scrimmage. I need you to finish, though. I need you to finish. That wasn't terrible. Uh, Y'all see how slow he came out of his stance to pull? I wasn't mistaken. Yeah, the first time he pulled, it looked like his legs was hurting. He just pulled like that. Look at his pull. My goodness, there's no athleticism in that. But that's PFF guard one, though. That's 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 PFF's number one guard here. So, hey, you know, maybe I'm hating or something. I don't know. Combo. Uh, I don't want to grade you too much on your combos. I know you can combo. If I can go to the league and combo all day, I combo all day. But I'm too little. It's not a bad. It's not a bad block there. Stop holding that man. But it's not a bad block. Ooh, touchdown. Good play. It's not a bad block. Let's see. <clears throat> Three in the morning. Morning. Where did he? <laughs> hey, check. <laughs> Look, check out your boy, Nitain. Uh, he came off the ball to block 78. And he's one-on-one -on -one with 78. But he just going to miss 78. But instead of turning around to try to block 78, he just go to the second level and blocks a linebacker. A part of me like that. <laughs> First of all, if I was a coach, I'd be pissed off. Or just evaluating the guy, I'd be pissed off. But that's kind of fun. It's, hold on, let me see. If is this outside zone? Because if it's outside zone, I evaluate that different. It's not outside zone. So yeah, I'm not evaluating that different. Yeah, yeah, just move on. <laughs> no, Nick, that's not smart. You don't just let go. <laughs> no, Nick. You don't just let go of a of a down lineman. Now, if let me go back. If this was a is this a play? Yeah, if this was a combo for a 72 to take over, you don't leave until 72 gets there. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate the play. I don't hate it because it ended up working out. But he left 72 on the island. His left tackle, he left his he left his left tackle in a bad spot there. The left tackle was just good enough to get there on time. You see what I'm saying? 
But don't but don't leave your guy behind, man. But don't leave your guy behind. It all it all ended up working out for the best, man, but you ain't had to do your boy like that, man. Let me check the chat box. Look like the scheme. It it, it probably was a scheme, dog, but you can't you, don't do your boy like that. We rolling out. Oh, we're not rolling out. We all sliding. I don't hate it. Uh, a, this is more so what I have the biggest problem with. He likes to hit people and not finish, <laughs> but it's okay. I don't hate it too much. I'm lying. I hate that shit a lot, but it just is what it is. Is this a screen? What the hell happened right here? Running back, Mr. Block. Tackle, Mr. Block. Guard hit somebody. Center. Missed. <laughs> and Nita ain't help with the center. The front side tight end, Mr. Block. <laughs> Y'all boys. Y'all boys crazy, man. Uh... Let's see. Let's see. It almost looked like he's doubling, going to hit the number one, but he's got to wait. He he he's he's got to wait for his help. Sure. Sure thing. Hater Ray, I hate how he pulled. That's a mess. It is a mess indeed. That's a screen, I guess. <laughs> That's a screen, I guess. Yeah. We're moving on. This is how I watch film, y'all. I, I be laughing and shit. I be making fun of folk. That's not a terrible block, Mutane. I like that. I like that, Mutane. Okay. You finally got your hands inside? Let's see. All right, Mutane. You know what a guy like, like Mutane? Mutane? Nitane? N Let me see. Nitane, Mutane. Yeah. You know what a guy like? Like Nitain really needs, he needs a senior bowl. He needs a senior bowl practice where he's isolated against other good talents. That's what he needs. He's he's the uh, he's the left guard, Trent. He's number fifty two. In this film, he's the left guard. The next film, he's gonna be the left tackle. But you know, but Nitain needs a senior bowl situation where he could just one on a senior bowl practice where he could just one on one with somebody that's really good. And we can really fit. This is the best block I've seen from him right here. This is the best block I've seen. I remember this block because I remember going, why don't you do this every time? Me tank. All right. Come off the ball. Hands. Boom, boom, boom. Drop the butt. Movement. Cool. That's the best block I've seen from him. Best one. But, you know, consistency is a part of the game. Consistency is a part of the game. Can I say something else too? I feel like a lot of these USC kids are just terrible. Can I say that too? I don't want to see you screaming. I think a lot of these USC chat box. Am I wrong for saying? I think a lot of these USC kids are just bad. I think they suck. <laughs> That's a good down block there, anytime. Cause I'm just looking at them stumbling all over the place. I'm like, this this whole thing looks terrible. Nitain is really good at, at getting to the second level. I like how he does that. He gets to the second level, but he needs to finish his blocks. He's, he, he needs he needs to finish right there. If you're going to be raw, I need you to be like imposing and raw so I can know that if I fix your technique, you'll you'll be a little better. Like think about uh think about Beckton, right? Beckton has no offensive line technique at all ball on the ground uh no offensive line technique on on the on the ground at all but he could on the ground no offensive line technique at all but he could still use his um he can use his rawness to win battles you know what i mean Nitain doesn't have a lot of technical prowess but i don't think he got like physical traits that really blow you off the ball uh blow you off the water blow you out the water you don't lose your mind about his physical traits neither you know what i'm saying so it just puts you in a weird spot to where if you develop in him, if if you if you develop him, what exactly are you developing? You see what I'm saying? He's holding right there. What exactly are you developing? But he's very aggressive and you can't buy aggression. You can't buy aggression. 
Let me see what the chat box talking about. Well, let me see this play. Let me see what the chat box talking about. Mm. <laughs> uh, I like his combo blocks. I bet you do. <laughs> These uh these D linemen, these USC D linemen tween and sophomores, yeah. Vach, if you could go to a top D one program and play lineman, where would you have gone? Shit, the best school. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> um anyway, let's move on. Let's uh let's get back to the front. Let's get back to the front. Like, like his initial move is that he comes off the ball and he pushed somebody. Like, mm. <laughs> but now what? You know what I mean? What after you push that first guy? Man, he just missed right there. So, <laughs> moving on. Hey, this PFF guard number one, man. You know, I'm just having a conversation. I'm just checking the vibes out. I'm just, you know, crossing my T's, man. I think I deserve an award for hating on him for ten weeks. Not ten weeks, but hating on him for a month, and then you know come back and say, you know what, I could be wrong. Let's come back and watch the film and see what happens. I think I deserve an award for that. For not just hating my whole life. I hate that block. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Matter of fact, go back. No, we need this. No, what was that block I hate? Wait a minute, is it this one? Listen, if we run blocking, right? Time out. If we run blocking, I want us to go forward. This is what I mean. I, and you know what? This probably was the film I got pissed off, the play I got pissed off and just stopped watching. Take a look at Nitain Mutai, right? If I, I want my offensive linemen to get guys vertical in terms of pushing people, in terms of movement, Nitain is going to aggressively come off the ball and just keep this guy sideways here. I, I hate that. I hate that. Go the other way. Uh, go the opposite direction. Don't. Ugh, don't dance with the guy at the line of scrimmage, man. I'm not – look, man, like when, I'm, when, when I talk about Nitai w- w- with venom in my voice, man, it's all about – it's all about um, context, right? If we're talking about Nitai in the context of a seventh-round pick or like an undrafted guy, we can have a conversation. Like last year, like Larry Allen Jr. came out. He played ball at Harvard. And I'm like, okay, cool. If we have a conversation with that kind of context, then, then cool. But if we're going to talk about Larry Allen Jr. versus the best guards in the league, the best guards in the in the draft, then of course I'm going to sound venomous towards Larry Allen Jr. That's why I sound this way about Nitain Muta. Because we're um we're conversing with him uh in a sort of conjunction in the notion of, Hey, he could be the best tackle in this draft. And I'm like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that. Look, it's another example of him being super aggressive, but he, not, he may not be strong enough to deal with strong people. You know what I'm saying? He just wrestling out there. I like his hustle. I like how, you know, I like his pissed offness. He's very aggressive, but you need other things to go along with that aggression, man. You need other things to go along with that. <clears throat> so would I draft him in the seventh round? Like maybe six, I guess. We was just doing mocks or whatever. Vosh, why don't you take new, uh, Nitain Mutai in the second? I'm not taking no damn Nitain Mutai with no second round pick, my dude. I hate how he pulls. I hate him pulling. Ugh, it made me sick. <laughs> but shouts out to the player, though. Side side to the player. He's very aggressive, and I do like aggressive football players. Go back. This may have been something quick. Yeah, something quick. Yeah. What about this play? Let's see. Let's see. What about this play? I'm being optimistic here. Good punch. I like that punch, Nitain, in your pass set. I like that punch. Gotta finish though, bro. Gotta finish. I'm gonna watch like five more plays of this, and I'm gonna move on to him at left tackle. <laughs> That's bound to be a lot more interesting, right? Let's see what his left t- his left tackle table look like. And chat box on top of that, even even after all this, this is just watching him as a football player, right? It's just me evaluating him as a football player. Like he only got six games in his whole college career because his knees and his Achilles and his ankle and his foot and his hands and his hamstring be hurt. Like he's very much injury prone guy. Great combo there. Great combo there. And he finished him because he nasty. But, hey, y'all damn near double-teamed this man for 10 yards. 
you and 59. Double team this man for 10 yards. Triple team this man for 10 yards, of course. What my man say, my man's, uh, who was that, Tyrone Church or something? I think that was him. He was like, I like his combo blocks. I'm like, yeah, me too, but <laughs> it's a combo block. One more play that we're going to watch him at left tackle. Yeah, it was a combo. Let's watch a real play. Then we're gonna move on. Let's watch a, a like a play I can evaluate. Mm mm. That's another combo. Give me a play I can evaluate. Give me something. Give me something I can evaluate. We're gonna be out of film by the time. Huh. I go back. You're running around looking lost. All right, cool. Let's go to Nita and Mutai at left tackle. Before I do that though. Chat box, what's the vibes here? Chat box, what y'all, what y'all thinking about? What y'all thinking about Nita and Muta? <laughs> what y'all thinking? Uh, let's see. Let me scroll back and then I'll read. I'll drive down on it. Uh, PFF have him thirtieth on their board. I think that's too much, Rex. But um, like the the video I watched, they was all like um. Yeah, man, somebody's going to draft this kid 16th overall. We're not going to be surprised. And then you're going to run back to PFF and say, hey, man, yeah. I'm like, man, come on, son. Guard number one and 30th on the board, man. I, I can't see it. Chat about what y'all thinking. I know I'm not the only one uh, seeing him. Fall. Yeah, he, he his balance is bad, Nick. His balance is bad. His hands are his hands are bad. His athleticism, his strength is bad. And I like his aggression, though. If I can say anything good about him, that boy aggressive. And he has a good play every now and then, but... You know, he needs to drop his ass. Yes, Nick, he needs to drop his ass. Facts. He need he he needs to really anchor down and settle in them hips. He needs strength, hands, and hand. Yeah, sure. Uh, Quinn Nelson better than Zach Martin in my opinion. I don't know where that came from. Uh, very true. Tyrone doesn't have any power in right game. I hope his left tackle film is better. I don't think so. Uh, it's like Fresno State. No, they need to combo that. Sure. Sure, they need the combo to hide his weakness. Sure, Rexo says developmental player, and that's my thing, Rex. Like a developmental player, in my opinion, is somebody that like you may be strong as shit, right? But your feet bad, so we got to work on your feet to develop you. Or like you may be coming in small, but you but you got fantastic feet. You a great athlete. You can move. You you technically good, but we got to put you in a weight room to develop you. This guy got a lot of issues, man. This dude, this dude need to put some weight on the bar. Sure. And he 308 pounds, man. <laughs> Allegedly. Day 99 guy. I don't like them injuries neither. He's injury prone. Sure. 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 <laughs> All right. Let's look, let's look at me. Wait a minute. Let me let me go and uh, let me. Uh, let's see. We ain't really talk about the combine. We really didn't do Q&A. We, we may do Q&A later. So running a few mock drafts. <laughs> Hating on Nitain <laughs> Muta. <laughs> hey man, what are you doing, man? All right, I had to change the title, man. I had to change the title. Okay, so let's go back to Fresno State film. All right, cool. Let me check OBS to make sure my visuals good. All right, my visuals good. Okay, guys. So now we're looking at Nitain Muta, but he's our left tackle now. Okay. He's our left tackle. So, now let's watch him get killed by these Minnesota. Hey, man, these, these Minnesota kids, I think they I think they was better than the USC kids, man. But let's take a look and see. Neetane is the left tackle. You know what? That's something else I hate about him, too. Like, when he blocks some – he's blocking down now. I think he's blocking down. He Yeah, he's blocking down back backside puller. Look, when he's blocking down, ain't nobody there. Where the hell he going? Like, he just running until nobody – where he going? <laughs> find some work he's supposed to block who, who's he supposed to block uh he's supposed to block this linebacker up here the linebacker y'all y'all don't see my mouse but the one that eventually got by the tackle 36 he's supposed to block that guy but let's move on whatever <laughs> let's watch him get killed by these minnesota dudes <laughs> chat box how many people i got watching live man because i know a lot of people have, have asked me about nitain mutai but um i never entertained their oh boy i never entertained their responses let me see 
I never entertain their responses when they ask me what I don't like about them. Well, that's just bad. Let's move on. Ball out quick. Let's start. Ugh. You know, and you know, one big problem of his though too, especially him playing left tackle. Like, first of all, somebody at Fresno State should be fired for this. But if he navigates, if he doesn't navigate, move well inside. I don't see how you think he would be able to navigate and move outside. I just don't understand what makes you think that he would. Hmm. Let's keep watching. But, yeah, he has no navigation skills on the outside. But I don't want to hate on him, though. He's aggressive. And you know what? He probably better than me. He can probably, you know, <laughs> if I went to go play left tackle, he could probably block better than me. Uh his block ain't terrible. He is left tackle, right? Yeah, he left tackle. Who else on his on his O line? Let me see. Christian Crump, Michael Sam Stewart, Marcus Boyan. Yeah, yeah. I think I heard of Christian Crump. I could be tripping. That's a solid play. Hey, these Minnesota kids really underrated. Um, on uh defense, like they front seven or whatever, they really underrated there. Has his pull improved or something? Oh, okay. So, hey, look. So, look. Peep this out, y'all. So, he was a left tackle last year. But they put his ass inside this year. That's what happened. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I understand. Okay, cool. Hey, y'all. Don't forget for y'all tuning in right now. I got some film that I'm dropping um after this, too. So, y'all stay tuned for the film that I put out afterwards. Um, I'm gonna hit publish. I think it's done uploading. His movement is so bad. Look at him pulling. Oh my goodness. He uh, l- hold on. What was his running back? He ain't block a soul. <laughs> <laughs> Them feet so terrible. Oh boy. I don't want to hate on nobody's son, man. That's that's somebody's son. I don't want to hate on nobody's son, bro. But I'm giving constructive criticism. I feel like. Oh, goodness. Was that Carter Coughlin? <laughs> On the left side? Yeah. How fast did he have to turn around? Second step? Yeah. You got your knee time. You got to do what you got to do sometimes, I guess. <laughs> I reckon my guy. Uh, hold on. Go back. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Go back. Go back. He Shit. Pardon me, y'all. I'm doing this from YouTube. I don't have my... My smooth scroll tool. So center. Okay, cool. He out there. Cool. Getting hands on the linebacker falling down. <laughs> that boy stay on the ground, man. He stay on that ground, man. Roll out. This block ain't terrible. Staying with it. It's part of just being ambitious, though, man. That's part of, part of his aggression. Him being an aggressive football player. You know what I mean? Referees bugging, throwing the flag right there. I don't like it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I wish I had the all twenty two so I could see what his like, what his kick slides look like. Like he ain't, like he's not covering no ground with his feet right there, right? He's just kind of picking his feet up and putting them back down. I would like to see him cover ground, but he didn't need to cover ground right there as offensive lineman. He didn't need to give up any ground, so I ain't mad at him there. But I do want to see his feet and how he move around and how he move if he had to move. Not a terrible block there. I won't hate on him too much. It's a, it's a scheme block, but I don't hate it. I, it's a scheme block, but I don't hate it. Uh, ran into a pile. Damn, somebody hit his ass. Hold on. All the way away. Let me see this hit again. On, on the ball carry, what happened? God damn. <laughs> These Minnesota kids is angry, boy. <laughs> Minnesota kids pissed off. Mm. Okay, I see what's going on. This edge rush ain't shit. Put Carter back up there. Carter made him work. <laughs> Carter Coughlin had Nita ain't running in circles, boy. Why they keep putting the ball on the ground, man? They got like three fumbles in this game. 
good aggression there. I like it. Carter Coffin should try to uh try to escape. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh goodness. Hey man. Check out your boy right here, man. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. That's all it takes. A little just a little sliver, a little sidestep. That's all we need to do to get past you, my guy. Because he got to keep his feet moving, man. Nita ain't, he 100% stops his feet when he gets in front of people. He 100% gets to people and he just stops his feet. Let's look at his feet right here. First, uh, Coughlin down bottom. Stopped his feet. And if Coughlin was a gangster, he'd have got there. If Coughlin was a gangster and the ball didn't, didn't, um, didn't get out quick, he would have got there. That's all then. I like that aggression though. Hey, choke slam that motherfucker. I don't care. Hey. <laughs> I like how angry you play. But that's a penalty, my dude. Can't be out here choke slamming, folks. That's somebody's son, man. Uh we're gonna watch a little bit more. We almost out of film anyway. How much more we got? Yeah, we at the we at the at the halfway mark. Let's watch like five more plays, we're gonna get up out of here. Well, five plays, and then I'll, then I'll go to the chat box, and we'll just Q&A for a little bit. I think that's about fair. Winfield. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. All right, so I decided to do a part two of this. Uh, I did a live stream yesterday where I watched Nitae Mutai's uh, film live or whatnot, and I went to sleep on it, right? Then I woke up and I was like, what are people seeing? <laughs> because I could be wrong. You know what I mean? I, I could be wrong. So sometimes I put myself in the shoes of the consumer, right? And I'd be like, okay, well, what if I saw like a highlight tape? You know what I mean? PFF may be irresponsible enough to be judging players off of highlight tape. So cool. I decided to go watch the Nitae Muta highlight tape. And if I watched the highlight tape first, without watching the film, I would be blown away by what I thought Nitae Muta was, you know, was. Okay. But I watch a lot of film. I've been evaluating, you know, for, for a good little bit and I see right through highlight tapes and i know how it works man i mean i i mean you can look at a highlight tape and be like oh they're only showing one play from the san diego state game oh, <laughs> oh okay i see this one angle they did here or they got Nitane falling on somebody but you know highlight tapes don't paint the whole picture right so there was a handful of plays where he had deron Payne on the ground right and it was edited real nice and put together good and i'm like Damn, was he really putting hands on Deron Payne? Is Nitain Muta a better player in 2017 than he is now? So I had to go pull his 2017 film, his Alabama film. Uh, I ain't got the all 22. I ain't got, you know, it's Fresno State, my bad. Um, but I had to go back and find like the whole uh, the whole game or whatever. So uh, it's cut up a little bit, but it ain't the typical, you know, cut up circles that we that we normally get. But we're going to have to deal with it. Nitain Muta is the left guard here, and uh, let's evaluate him versus Alabama. And um, let me just tell you all this, man. I've kind of seen a little bit of this film, but for the most part, I'm watching it relatively raw. This is what happens, right? This So this play was in Nitain Muta's highlight tape where he was hitting Deron Payne in the side here. But <laughs> let's take a look and see what happened, man. That's what happened. And the highlight tape ignored. Let me come back. They ignored the actual play here, right? They ignored that. But what they got was here's Deron Payne at the end of the play and Nitain Mutai basically blindsiding him, right? And that goes back into the narrative that he's an angry player. He's a nasty player. He is that. But hitting Deron Payne in the side ain't the same as hitting Deron Payne head on. You know what I mean? Um, so that 
was in the highlight tape. And I was like, well, that's not fair. That's not fair of Deron Payne, but whatever. That's that. But let me get into the uh, the rules of this because I don't know what exactly I said yesterday. I recorded this the day after. Um, when we get into this film, um, we're basically not going to count combo blocks because anybody can look good on combo blocks. And we're not going to count plays where the quarterback gets rid of the ball quickly. We're not going to look at screens too often, right? I want to look at these plays where we get a real look at what Nita and Mutai can do. And we'll add that as a part of the equation or whatever all right so let's get into it and that's a combo right there um i think i'm gonna i'm gonna put this film on the back of the film that i put yesterday so my analysis still kind of stands on nita muta i think he's very aggressive he's good at the point of attack in terms of delivering the blow but i don't think he's powerful enough to sustain blocks and put guys on skates and if you watch that highlight tape you would think he was the strongest player you would think he's the, he, he the damn incredible Hulk. You would think that. Um, but that may be upper body strength when he's punching people. And that's where the point of attack power, um, you know, thing comes from. Right. But when you see him engage and drive people, you don't see a lot of movement there. You know, so we'll, we'll just keep evaluating that. Let's see what happens when we uh, take a look at Nitain Mutai. And I hope I'm saying his name right. I, I hope his name ain't really Natani. <laughs> Natani Muti or something. You know what I mean? Chatbox, help me out if uh if his name ain't Nitain Mutai for real. And these are just plays that I'm not evaluating because it's just he's missing he's he's missing a block or they're getting rid of the ball quickly or a combo there. You know, Deron Payne kind of holding up on him, things like that. That's a good pass block right there. The ball got out quick, but I'll I'll still count this as a as a good pass block. Who was 49? That's uh that's Isaiah Bugs or something. This this some old film, y'all. Like Jalen Hurts playing quarterback and Minka Fitzpatrick at safety. <laughs> so it's some old ass film, bro. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Nitain going on the ride there. Let's go back to make sure. Yeah, you ain't you ain't you ain't blocking Deron Payne right there. It's, it's cool. <clears throat> what about here? Screen. Moving on. I don't need to see your screens, player. I don't need to see your screens. And it's another example, right? Let me just, because like some people don't have the eye for this. And like I said, I, I ain't shit. I'm just a YouTuber, ex-football player, ex-coach, whatever. But like, if you was to watch this place and you didn't know you were untrained or whatever, you would think that Nitain was pushing Deron Payne five yards in, into the backfield. Nah, like Deron Payne is backing up and Nitain is just kind of going with him. You know what I mean? He ain't pushing Deron. Like Nitain's legs are straight. He ain't, he, ain't, he he's not pushing Deron. Ain't no ain't no bend in his knees, right? So Deron Payne is basically in control here. And like the 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 term we use is putting somebody on skates, right? If you putting a D lineman on on skates, like you moving them backwards, they can't come off of your block or whatever. They won't be able to find the running back because they on skates. And Deron Payne came off this damn block, so he, get, get off him, man. And he made a tackle there. And I'm imagining that he he wanted to get a little room because the running back went to the right. So I guess Deron Payne was looking for an angle to try to cut him off. But the running back came back. Everything stopped. Deron Payne made the play. You would think that, you know, just off those highlight tapes or off the, the PFF articles or whatever, that Nitain is so powerful that he's driving people. Here's another example, right? Deron Payne ain't getting blown off the ball here. <laughs> He's standing Nitain up when the when the, the ball carrier comes his gap. Deron Payne makes the tackle. There's no movement there. And I don't even want to say this like I'm hating on Nitain, bro. I'm just evaluating with context here. I'm evaluating with the context that PFF got him guard number 130th overall. That's all. And that they call him Quentin Nelson-esque. That's the only reason I'm saying this. But I said that yesterday, though. Phil go. All right. So, Bama going to go on offense and score again. <laughs> Bama going to drive the shit out of this football and score one more time. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get back to Fresno State's offense, y'all. They're going to get in the touchdown end zone. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nitain Mutai. Nitani Muti. Left guard. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Same thing, same thing. Now, now this ain't a terrible block. Don't get me wrong. This ain't a terrible block. You know, so if I'm judging Nitain Mutai, you know, 
fairly, you know, just blindly. I was like, I, I would say, okay, that's a cool block. But if we're comparing him to Quentin Nelson, I, we we can't have that, man. We can't have that. Anyway, um, what he's on the ground for? Uh, okay, sixty nine pull cloth to get him up out of there. Need to ain't like to hold a lot too. I said that in the film yesterday too, so that ain't that ain't no new information. My man's will hold you. Boy, will he hold you? What happened here? Kick, 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 kick. That's not a bad pass block. Hey, you know what? Watch this. This is in a highlight tape too. Look at this. This is in a highlight tape too. All they showed was Nitain Muta. Can I move my screen over a little bit? Yeah. All you saw on the highlight tape was Nitain picking somebody up and falling on him. No. Deron Payne was batting the pass down, and as he was in the air, Nitain pushed him over. That don't count. That don't count, Highlight Tape Illuminati. I see through your shenanigans. Who you think you fooling? Anyway. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, ball out quick. Yeah, I don't hate that block, though. I don't hate that block. I'm going to give Nitain credit when I, when, 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 when I, you know, when it's time to give it to him. They combo on Duran. They got to. They got to combo Duran. What else they going to do? Um... Another combo on the pass set. I ain't mad at it. What happens here? We're at the beginning of the second quarter, by the way. I just got the clock off the screen. Botch play from the beginning. We ain't trying to see your botch play. We ain't trying to see your botch play, player. Kick off. All right. Well, punt. Pardon me. Alabama about to go score again. <laughs> Alabama. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Alabama. Oh, no. They back on offense. Wait a minute. What happened? Wait a minute. Okay, cool. They made a stand. All right. First, no defense. All right. Uh, ooh, Deron Payne at the point of attack, getting pissed off in these same Uh, Deron Payne got a little penetration in the backfield there. Understood. Ball out quick. What about here? Uh, ball out quick. Nobody died though, <laughs> but ball out quick. probably should step down closer to your center you'll cut that linebacker off and they got but i ain't gonna hold that against you that's just a technical flaw but mm -hmm. that's not an indictment on your talent it was just a technical flaw you can fix technical flaws <clears throat> this play wasn't bad i'll give you that me tame muta this, this play ain't terrible your hands was high i don't like that um, let's go. All right, click, click, click. Hands, uh, your hands are on his back. Your knees are straight, and he does that a lot. Knee tank is real high. Um, you didn't really get any push on Duran. He was able to come off and make the tackle regardless. But <clears throat> I see what you're saying, my guy. It's all good. I give that a win for Deron Payne, by the way, in case anybody, you know, in in, in case there was any ambiguity there, I gave that win to Duran, but. Um, it wasn't a terrible job by Nitain. Just that you know his his legs were straight and his hands was on the run back. I need to fix that. Get your hands inside, bend your knees. Punt again. All right, cool. Uh, Alabama about to go score. Alabama about to go score. Alabama's in the red zone. Alabama scored. <laughs> Alabama scored. Damian Harris. All right, here we go. This this is probably about to be the last drive I watch. Man, I ain't gonna do this all day. Uh. Duran, uh, Nitain like to pull people. He like to hold and grab that jersey. We the offensive line. We the offensive line. We can't pull a jersey, Nitain. But hey, you know, you want combo and jersey pull? I ain't mad at you. Another example. We you know we we no control here as an offensive lineman. We're not getting much control on uh on Duran Payne there. So that's the end of the half. That's the end of the half there. Ball out quick. I don't hate it. <clears throat> Good job by Fresno State offensive offense coordinator because they had a, a real understanding that you just couldn't hold the ball this game. You couldn't hold the ball this game. Duran Beach off the rip. Let me see. Yeah, Duran Beach off the rip, young young Nitain. It's all good, fella. It's all good, fella. What happens? Uh, Go back. Yeah, go back to the beginning. Let me see. Here we go. Nitain. Yeah, it's just down block, nothing. Clutter. 
flag on the play. Da da da. Let's go back. See me tame. Me tame. Blocking people on their sides, but you know what? This may have been on a highlight tape too. This. <laughs> You can't keep pushing people in they back, me tank. Come on, son. I think that was also in the highlight tape. He he, he, he liked to wrestle, man. I give him that. He loved to wrestle. Salute to him. This ain't wrestling. Don't you think you the Undertaker? Say that. <laughs> uh, and the punt. Let's watch one more series to get up out of here, man. I got to sneeze. All right, this is the last drive I'm watching of Nitain Muta. I ain't watching no more after this. Uh, what happened here? Did he get movement on Deron, or did or did Deron go and he just went with him? As outside zone block, I don't hate that. If you're gonna hook him as an outside zone block, I don't hate it. As a pass block, that ain't good there, Nitain. I mean, that ain't bad there, Nitain Muta. That's not bad. It's not bad there. My only problem don't need Tame Muta. Hold on. My only problem, my only problem, your legs are straight up and down. Bend your knees, boy. Come on. Deron Payne wasn't, he wasn't killing you there. He ain't go 100% like he could have been. And they interview him, Mega Fitzpatrick. Okay, then he went on the punt. Hey, man, look, th th that's that's all I got for y'all, man. I've watched three games of Nitain Mutai, and I've seen much of the same thing. The highlight tape can be misleading. I understand. But we must remain steadfast in what we believe in. We have to fight the Illuminati with our own intelligence. You know what I mean? So they'll, 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 they'll crop that highlight tape together, but I ain't here for it, my guy. PFF said that he's very Quentin Nelson-esque. Vach was here to break down Quentin Nelson. I don't see Quentin Nelson-esque. Y'all can go watch my Quentin Nelson videos if you want to, because there's plenty of them, but it is what it is there. Three-part video. This is a long one, but it is what it is. I think it was worth it, man. This ain't going to get monetized at all because I'm using like broadcast view, but things happen. Y'all hold it down, man. Peace.